Okay guys, this is my next project. Um, I'm doing, I thought I did one for you already, but apparently not, I can't find it. I'm going to be canning sausage and bacon. Plus, I'm going to be using the bacon um, for my jalapeno poppers. So here's what I do. First of all, this is out of Oklahoma. I don't know how many of you can get it. And I know that the kids around here sell it as a fundraiser. It's blue and gold bacon, and I also bought their sausage. We're going to can sausage, and I'm going to show you that as well. Anyway, I was able to get my hands on three, three and a half pound packages of bacon. The problem with this bacon is it's in such large packages, it's difficult, you know, just, just to take a few out. I don't like to refreeze it, so I have found canning to be the best. Anyway, I take a, in this case I'm using a jelly roll pan, lined it with parchment paper, and I've laid the bacon out in single file. And um, I'll show you what I do to get it in the jars when we get there. My oven's at 400 degrees. And let me get set up to show you what I'm so, going to do. I'm actually, it's working out that I'm rotating pans because I'm wrapping jalapeno poppers. So, this pan goes in the oven just in time for this pan to come out. And I only partially bake, cook the bacon. This might be just a little bit further along. And then I'll show you my next. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to start canning my bacon. Now, yesterday I pre-cooked it a little, uh, a little bit. I like it better when it's pre-cooked. Um, last time I made it, I tried some packing it raw and then pre-cooking it, and the raw stuff literally just crumbled. So I stirred it into scrambled eggs. It was good, but I have found that this way works really well. And then I have, all I have to do is just heat it up a little bit and I've got nice crispy bacon. So what I did was I've got my pre-cooked bacon here, I cooked it yesterday, put it in a Ziploc bag in the fridge overnight. And right now I'm going to make quart, a quart jar. I don't usually make them that big for the two of us, but I'm gonna go ahead and do at least one, maybe two, unless I've got, that way if I've got company. And I just set it down in there and measured um, how long each piece needed to be and now I've got templates you know from the ones I did before and I'm just cutting those pieces off don't worry all of this bacon is going to get put to good use it's going to get canned or whatever so um, I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing and then I'll come back and show you how I wrap it and put it in the jars okay I've got all of my bacon uh, pre-cut this is a, a sheet of uh, parchment paper that I tore out and I'm just going to lay the bacon along. I guess you can't really see that. I'll start here. I'm just going to line the bacon up along in the parchment paper side by side. And this is just a guesstimate how much is going to fit, how many slices of bacon are going to go in that quart jar. The idea is to get as many in there as you can. And this parchment paper, many uses. It, you're going to have quite a bit of bacon fat. Um, still, obviously, it's bacon. But uh, some people, what they do is they use, there'll be so much grease in that parchment paper, they use it as a fire starter. Okay, I've got these here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the parchment paper, fold it up from the bottom, and fold it up from down from the top. And then you just roll as tight as you can roll it. So I will finish rolling this and I'll be back. Okay, looks like I could have done a little bit more, but this is fine. 
You just push that down in your jar. No liquid, nothing. You guys, after I, when I learned how to do this, it's like bring on the bacon and I'll just can it all. It is so handy. And I don't have my lids and stuff ready because I'm gonna get my jars, but that's. Okay guys, I wanted to show you how I can sausage. Um, I've already got one large pan done. But this comes in uh, two and a half pound rolls. And I do it, can't, I don't think I did hamburger patties for you when I canned meat. I'm going to be canning sausage patties and this is a whole lot easier to cut if it's partially frozen. I let this get thawed out so it's not gonna be quite as easy. But I just go along and cut right through the roll about a half inch thick. And I have a pan here lined with parchment paper. And when my pan is full, then I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven and I'm, I can't remember how long this last one took, maybe 30 minutes. And I don't want them all the way done, just partially done. I do that for several reasons. Uh, the main one, I want to get as much grease off of it. And then um, also it just makes it so much easier. You just pop it in the pan or microwave and warm it up and, and there you go. Um, I'll get this all on my pan, all sliced up and on my pan and I'll be back. Okay, I've got all my patties on the pan and they're gonna go in that 400 degree oven. And in a second, I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, here's what my patties look like. They're not cooked all the way through, but they're starting to get brown. Also, running them through the pressure canner is going to complete cooking them. And so when they come out of the jar, they're cooked and you just have to warm them up a little bit. And I want to make most of them in half pint jars because it's perfect for us when we travel. But all you do is you put the patties, stack them in the jar. These are pint jars. I'm getting ready to run a canner with um, the quart jar and the pint jars. And since I've got a quart jar in there, they, it needs to process for 90 minutes. And at my altitude, so it's five. Let's see if I can get a sixth one in there. At my altitude, it's 10 pounds pressure for 90 minutes. So I'm gonna finish filling these jars with bacon and sausage, and I'll get back with you. Okay, and here's one other thing I do. Um, this is gonna be just canned plain sausage. I cook it till it's almost done. There's still some pink in there, and that's what I want. So um, I just put this in a jar and I'll show all of that when I get ready, just before I put everything in the canner. All right, I'm getting ready to put stuff in the uh, pressure canner. And I've got a quart of bacon, three pints, two pints of sausage patties, and two pints of ground sausage. And this will be great for, um, like biscuits and gravy and stuff. Now, bacon you don't have to do anything with. I've washed my washed and rinsed my lids. I put the ring on, finger tight, and that's all I have to do with these. You can can the sausage like this, or you can add broth or water. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I don't like my sausage dried out, and I like the broth that it creates. There's gonna be fat in all of it, of course, but I'll show you the finished products. So I'm going to get the lids on everything. Ah, I just forgot, just about forgot one of the most important things. I'm gonna have to rewash that lid. Make sure with anything you wanna clean off the, the rim. But anytime you're doing a meat or anything like that, make sure you use vinegar and clean it really, really well. 
Now I can put that lid on. And before I do all the jars, I'll make sure I clean that because the grease around the rim could create, could cause this to not seal. So anyway, they're going to go in the food, in the uh, canner, the pressure canner. Since I have a quart, they're going to be in there for 90 minutes. Everything else from here on out is going to be half pints and pints. Okay, guys, it's the next morning, and right now I'm cleaning up all my jars and stuff. So I'll show you everything I got done after I'm done uh, washing the jars and taking the rings off. But I had one jar that didn't seal, so we're having sausage for breakfast. And you see there's still a little bit of grease in there. But all I have to do is warm up the sausage. And it's done. And it doesn't take me the time. And I don't have to store it in the refrigerator or freezer. When it's been canned, it's shelf stable. Well guys, this is my finished products from the bacon and the sausage. This is all bacon. This is all sausage. And for those of you who've watched my canning videos before, know that if I don't have a full canner, I make sure I fill it up. So, of course, I've got some black beans here, but I also had some, what is that, Polska Kielbaska and summer sausage. And I went ahead and chunked those up and canned them. They were about to expire. So I thought, well, they'll be just as good that way. And when I did that, I used some of my homemade beef broth um, as the liquid. So that ought to be really good. Uh, that sausage that we ate this morning was really, it was delicious. Um, wasn't dry. Um, I could have fried it a little longer and made it crispy on the outside, but very, very good. Had good flavor. I think a lot of that's because I do add a little water and it sets in its own broth. So I'm going to start uploading canning videos. I know they're boring, guys, but that's my life right now. <laughs>